The most vulnerable people in the Philippines uh, to the impact of climate change are the farmers, the fisher folks, and the poor people in the local communities, especially in the rural areas. The agriculture sector plays an important role in building uh, the resilience of local communities, especially uh, the uh, reducing uh, disaster risks and vulnerabilities of uh, farmers and fisher folks. As you know, the Philippines is a um, um, is highly exposed to uh, extreme weather events, the impacts of climate change, and even droughts. And uh, we need to ensure the uh, um, survival of, uh, of vulnerable people. And we would like to ensure also their livelihoods are protected and they're able to thrive and they're able to pursue development. I believe ensuring uh, that every country has a national adaptation plan will help us uh, leverage uh, financing for adaptation as well as uh, achieve the uh, many targets of the post-2015 international development frameworks, such as the Sendai Framework for Disaster Risk Reduction, the Sustainable Development Goals, as well as the Paris Agreement. There are many priorities uh, for um, adaptation uh, in the Philippines. Uh, um, one important uh, um, action that we need to undertake is to uh, build the capacity of uh, local government uh, units in order to uh, support uh, the needs of uh, vulnerable uh, uh, people, uh, such as the farmers and fisher folks. We need programs that will really ensure uh, the protection of their livelihood. We need programs that will ensure uh, the reduction of losses in terms of lives and properties uh, uh, from the impact of uh, climate change. Uh, and uh, we, need to, uh, we need the programs that will ensure also the integrity of our ecosystems. So overall, we, we need to strengthen the capacity of local government units to effectively reduce uh, disaster losses from the impact of climate change. Right now, we are emphasizing the importance of uh, local climate change action planning. This process will uh, allow us to mainstream uh, adaptation strategies, resilience building strategies in local development plans. Uh, we need to strengthen the capacity of local government units to undertake uh, adaptation planning and uh, resilience building for the agricultural sector. And in this regard, we need technical tools, analytical tools for risk assessment and cost-benefit analysis, so they're able to identify appropriate strategies for adaptation, appropriate st strategies to increase investment in these areas. The pursuit of adaptation uh, strategies is actually a multi-stakeholder um, undertaking. And uh, since agriculture is a very important uh, uh, sector, uh, given its vulnerability to climate change impacts, recent studies showed that 25% uh, of uh, 
losses from climate change uh, impact uh, is absorbed by the agricultural sector. And in that regard, we need to strengthen the agricultural sector to be more resilient. And uh, we need to uh, capacitate our local government units to provide uh, a sufficient support to the agriculture sector. And uh, we need also to mobilize resources and financing to, uh, to initiate and sustain uh, capacity building uh, uh, programs for the agricultural sector.